Hello, good day everyone. Uh, my name is Edwin. Welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's been a long time since you know I got back to you guys. But yeah, the good thing is I'm back now and um, it's time to give you guys update on the recent immigration um, happenings in Australia. So this one is basically for pharmacists. So the essence of this video is to update you guys, those that want to see it for their CAPS examination from next year. So the CAPS examination is going to be changing from next year. So the Australian Pharmacy Council has resigned it and the name from next year is going to be OPRA Overseas Pharmacist Readiness Assessment. So this is going to replace Knowledge Assessment of Pharmaceutical Science Examination from March um, starting next year. So basically, is this going to be the same border? minor discrepancies between the two exams so caps as we all know usually consists of paper one and paper two but the opera examination is going to be um, a single paper another difference between both um, examination the duration in terms of sitting for the exam is going to be reduced Caps you spend about four hours um, writing the examination and um, opera exam from next year you're gonna spend um, 2.5 hours and also in terms of the cost, looking at both exams, it's going to be less um, cost effective. Uh, I mean, Oprah compared to CAPS examination. So if you go to the description section of this video, you will see a link that will tell you more about the exam. Also looking at the content, um, what you need to prepare. I know some people will ask the content of the examination, is it still going to be the same? So in the description section of this video, I've added a link that will direct you to the Australian Pharmacy Council website that will tell you about the content of the examination and the areas of concentration. It, the site will also tell you the percentage contribution of each subsection you know, that will give rise to your overall score uh, in terms of your passing the exam. So I think it's worthwhile to you know, let you guys know people that are planning to sit for the exam next year, no longer CAPS, but it's going to be OPRA and um, the changes or everything you need to know about the preparation is contained in the description section of this video. Um, like the Australian Pharmacy Council just stated, so it's still going to be the same, but I'm just trying to tell the exam to be, you know, more modeled to the current um, challenges overseas trained pharmacies face here in Australia or to reflect the current um, pharmacy practice here in Australia. So just to keep you guys, um, you know, abreast of the recent happening in terms of you sitting for CAPS examination. And um, that is it for CAPS examination. What about guys who are preparing for, uh, you've passed your CAPS examination and, uh, you know, you're um, Make an application with APRA, how is it going guys and those who have um, gotten their provisional registration, how is the search for job going, um, I hope everything is going well. So um, like I said, 482 visa is employer sponsored visa, I know that is what most of you are waiting to you know, get that nomination, that sponsorship that will bring you here to do your internship as overseas trained pharmacist. Um, there are other ways of you coming here, so 482 visa is a good option. There are other pathways through which you can come here as overseas trained pharmacy. So all you need to do basically is to pass your CAPS examination. You also need to, you know, pass your English test. And in terms of English test, there are options as far as Australian immigration is concerned. So you need um, PTE 65 across the band. If it is IET, you need... Um, seven across the band as well so that is so once you've gotten your um skills assessment you've gotten your english test you can apply for skill nomination visa like 190 or 491 so there are various states um that are currently open for overseas trained pharmacists i think western australia is open victoria is open at the moment i think south australia also accept application for overseas trained pharmacists in the description section of this video, I've added a link that will direct you guys or you know on the requirement if you are planning to lodge 190 or 491 visa for overseas trained pharmacy. So, like I said, you just need to spread your tentacles, don't put all your egg in one basket. So you are 
seeking for job to come here on 482 visa you are also trying your best to see if you can get nominated on 190 or 491 to come here in fact that is the best option because you're coming here as an independent candidate and you have option to you know go to any um if it is 190 just choose that particular state and then you know go for it 491 you have to be in a regional area for a particular period of time before you can you know apply for your permanent residence visa in australia so that is it guys so for those who are searching for job like i said there are websites online websites or there are job search apps that you can use to get in 10 positions here in australia seek is there um indeed jora these are job seeking website where you can you know search for intern positions and then you know try to see if it's written overseas like if it is a job that the employer can sponsor you to come in and i said before you don't just have to limit yourself to those um job applications or job um advertise on these um applications online so you can actually Technically, just go online, search for farms, let's say for in Queensland, search for pharmacy outlet in Queensland, try to get the email address of the pharmacy outlet, and then you can construct email that, oh, I'm overseas trained pharmacist, I passed my CAPS examination, I have my English test, I'm just seeking for, you know, internship position. Chances are that, you know, one of them will just call you for inter for interview, and from there, you know, if everything goes successful, you are invited. Um, you're giving nomination and being sponsored to come here and work so try to spread the options get the email address of this pharmacy outlet um you know attach your resume and your cover letter you know draft this email send as many as you can on daily basis you know just keep sending to them um these messages is going to get to them and chances are the manager the hr whomever is in charge in employing um overseas train pharmacies can actually you know go through your email and you know there might be a need for them to employ you and set up interview and then um, you might be the lucky one and you, you find yourself in australia so that is it guys in the description section of this video the useful link that will guide you also in my previous videos i've made videos on how you can apply for 482 visa how you can search for job in australia for you know overseas train pharmacists how you can apply for 190 visa and the uh, yeah the last one 491 visa so these are options like i said australia is very good you have several options that can bring you here so whichever option you can even do more than one at a time you are applying for 482 you're also seeking um nomination for 190 or 491 and then um, in terms of expression of interest so you need to get this you need to express interest first with um, the australian immigration so in the description section of this video i've added a link that will help you guys to you know express interest in the skill nomination visa so that will also let you know about the point the factors what australia factors in to place you at the point you know and you know place you in pool with other candidates yeah so that is it guys so thanks for being a part of this video is a good time it's a good timing for me to come back again i know so many of you have been sending message eddie what is happening so it's a good time to reconnect with you guys to keep you posted on the recent happenings in australian immig immigration so just keep coming back to the um channel and uh, if you've not subscribed to the channel, it's a good time for you to subscribe so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be, you know, notified. And also try to share the videos to your friends. So this time around, it's not just going to be for pharmacists. So we are also looking at how other healthcare professionals, how uh, professionals in skill occupation list, primary, secondary school teachers, you know, just to make sure that anyone who is skilled, who of our university education and whose skill list or whose skill select is required here in Australia you get useful information that will guide you to come here and I'm also state that I'm not an immigration layer so whatever I'm giving you today are just information and some of these information are verifiable on the website the links I've given you so nobody is acting as an immigration lawyer 
the information we are giving you just to help you to you know keep you abreast of what is happening you can do your own research and if you think this is something you can do then you click into it and see how you can come here in australia thank you guys for watching um i'm going to see you in my next video until then do have a nice weekend bye now it's edwin